We should bury Sarah. Next to Jane. Now. Okay. I still don't think we should travel in large groups. Then Charles, William, and I will go. You can watch the girls. Okay. stay here. We've been sitting here for days. I'm sorry. It's not fair. Life isn't fair! Hey! Are you okay? I'm fine. It's because of Sarah, isn't it? I'm sorry. We all miss her, but there's nothing we can do. We can't change the past. We've lost two people in three weeks. It could be worse. I'm gonna go get some food. I can do it today. No. Fine. Robin, you're gone for hours every day. You deserve a break. I'll be back later. Why do you always have to wake me up like that? What's with the blood? That might help. Why have you been helping me these past few days? Because you're gonna do me a favor. I am? Of course. You're gonna tell me everything there is to know about your people. What? <coughs> I didn't agree to this. You do, or you're dead. No. If I didn't come along, you'd be dead by now. Why well, didn't I ask you to save me, Robin? I can take your life just as easy as I can save it. Understand?
Are you kidding me? It has leaves, germs, and other stuff. Do you want to live? No, that cup better be gone, alright? Why are you so... Despicable? Because you killed my family. My friends. You killed my country. Because of you, everyone I love is dead. I haven't killed a single person. You, your father, your friend. It's all the same. It's not. It is. You're with the people who ruined our lives. We have no home. We'll never be free again. And we have to watch our friends die every day. You don't know what that's like. Hey! I hate those people. You don't understand how much I want to kill them. I don't want to be here. I don't want to watch them kill innocent children. Then why don't you do anything about it? Do you have any idea how large our population is? One person cannot make a difference and millions are against you. I'm sorry. What are you going to do with me after I'm done answering your questions? I don't know. Give you back. Are you serious? Yeah. Why? I don't get you. I'm not asking you to get me. Alright, well, start asking me your questions. Fine. First off, what do you know about Sarah? Sarah? Yeah, the girl who injured you. Oh yeah, well, Paul killed her. Paul, uh, he's like the leader of our group. His dad is the president of our country, so Paul's pretty much a killing machine. He thinks he's better than everyone else. So does Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Is she the one who killed Jane? She's killed a lot of people. How do you know her? Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here. Not you. Go on with your story. We found Sarah and three other kids. They were probably around 10 to 12. She told them to run at first when she was running with them. But then she stopped. She kept telling them to run and she stayed staring at us. She tried to kill Paul, but I stopped her. Then right before she died, I remember her saying, because of Jane, you will die to Paul. How'd she die? Paul? He... He slit her throat, and she was out. Tell me everything there is to know about the people at your camp. There's Paul. He's 17. His dad's the president, so that makes him the leader of the camp. He's been training since he was five. He's a really good fighter, and he doesn't have a heart. That's not a surprise. Then there's Jacqueline. She's also a killing machine. She's close friends with Paul. Uh, she's 16. When well, she likes to speak Latin. I don't know why, but that's just her thing. Okay, next. There's Anthony. He's almost 14. A little younger than the rest of us. He doesn't kill many people, but he sure likes to. Alright. There's Rosalind. And she's about 15. Anthony's her cousin. They've been training together for years. She also doesn't kill much, probably because Jacqueline and Paul take everyone else for themselves. What about you? Me? I'm 16. I've been training for five years. Not as much as most people, but that's because I'm opposed to killing you guys. Honestly, why do we need more land? Your country is so small and it's not worth it if we have to kill a million people. Have you ever killed anybody? No. No wonder they left you. <laughs> Leave me alone. Alright, tell me about your cold-hearted country. Got a bunch of selfish people. They all suck. Whatever. Don't you agree? Of course I do. Well, I'm gonna go. Where? Can I come? No, seriously. You can barely keep yourself alive. You stay here. I'm gonna go. Um, bring me something nice to eat. Whatever. Is this really a good idea to be leaving the kids behind? They'll be fine. Watch them closely. Hey, they're splitting up. Who do we go with? Well, we'll have to split up. Wait, but then one of us will be alone. I'll go. I don't want them finding our new hiding place. Fine. 
You two go with Anthony and Paul. But be careful. Alright, well... Wait, wait! Anthony? How do you know his name? Uh, I made it up. Since I don't know his name, I just call him Anthony. Really? Wait, why would you... Guys, come on. We're gonna lose them. Let's go. Bye. Hey, sis. Be safe. Okay, come on. Well done. Thank you, Robin. Hey, what's wrong? Well, I thought someone found you and killed you. If that were true, why would you care? We're enemies. I don't know. You care about me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. <laughs> Why don't you just go back to your people? Are you done asking me questions? I've had like a week to ask you questions. I think I'm done. You should. Why? You don't want to go home? I hunted for human beings every day. I had to watch hundreds of people die. What are you going to do? Well, I'm gonna stay here, with you. Why? You saved my life. Only because I wanted answers. Yeah, well, thanks. It was nothing. No, seriously, thank you. You are the nicest person I met. And I care about you, and I think you care about me too. Robin. Robin, I don't want to go back to those killers. Say something. What do you want me to say? That I care about you? That I want you to live with me? Well, I don't, so I don't know what you want me to say. If you aren't planning on asking me questions today, then why'd you come? I think a part of you that- You can't live with me, Steven. But- I live with five people, and they all hate your kind. They don't know what? where I am, or what I'm doing, or that I'm helping the enemy. I'm sorry, Steven. You can't live with us. Do not have to live by myself. What do you know about the wilderness? It can't be that hard. Do you know how to make a fire? How to hunt? Provide shelter? Or even make blankets? Uh, I was hoping you could help me out with that. Why would I do that? I get to ask you questions. Well, I get to ask you some of mine. Like what? Who are the people you are living with? We start tomorrow, and you can keep those. Not falling for that again. Oh, look. I found this knife. Who's yours? Paul's carrying it for me. Seriously? Unfortunately. Well, that's Sarah's. Was. You want it? No, you need a weapon. Oh. Thank you. Mm-hmm. 